Hello. Hi, um, I, I saw your website. Sorry, this is, this is so stupid. I'm, I'm so stupid. 80% of my clientele are people just like you. I just, I'm, I'm kind of a big fan and I was wondering if, if maybe you could take me out to dinner? Of course, for $50 more, I can give you the immersive full Bundy package. What's that? It's a customer favorite. I promise you'll love it. I'll meet you in 15. I don't get it. Lonely women love feeling special to somebody, even if that somebody is a serial killer. Well, that seems like an incredibly narrow side and a reductionist view. Only I break the fourth wall, okay, Rick? Ray, come on. Just, you know, like, without the paperwork from the police, I, I just couldn't give it to you. If it was your sister missing, what would you think about that? We're really sorry. She was a... She's... She is a sweet girl. Where can I go to go through this stuff? I guess over here in the break room. I guess I'll leave it to it. Where did you go? What were you doing? Why would you still use something like this? You don't really look like Tig Bundy, you know. What the hell is this? Um, what's with the camera? Sometimes as an impersonator, I'm put in a predicament where I have to choose to answer as myself or as my character. In this case, I choose to answer as myself to restore immersion as fast as possible. I'm filming an ad. Okay, um, should I acknowledge him? I don't. Uh, so, what do we do now? Well, you asked me on a date. I suppose we start acting like it. I feel so fucking stupid. This is... This is so stupid. Why are you here, Jane? With every word you utter, you have to consider. Would your character say this? In this scenario, my character, Ted, was very gentlemanly. Um... I, I don't know. I... I guess I... I feel lost. My boyfriend of years dumped me, and I, I guess I want to feel like I matter to someone right now. And in a sick way, I thought I would matter to someone like Ted Bundy, even if for perverse reasons. Jesus. Just another sad, lonely woman who just wanted to feel special. Um, I brought a list of questions I would ask you on a real date. I can answer as many as you want. Um, what's your favorite food? <laughs> Women. Ted Bundy wasn't a cannibal. I'm pretty sure he was. He wasn't. Don't tell me how to do my job. Rule of thumb, the customer is always wrong. If you give up or concede even one valuable piece of information, you lose total immersion. Do you have a hunch as to how you'll die? Probably in a United States federal prison 33 years ago. Sorry, I, I got these questions off of a website. I guess it's hard to apply someone to already died.
This is kind of weird, isn't it? Yes, very. <laughs> well, thank you for calling the Manson Family Experience. Would you like to, uh, purchase a, a date with him? And will that be a romantic or a sexual date? Uh, I'm sorry, I thought this was the phone number for the Bundy experience? Well, unfortunately, we no longer offer that package. Uh, he's actually Charlie now. But um, for 50 bucks less than the posted rate, you can get a special immersive experience with Charlie himself. That interests you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to meet him. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good, ma'am. We'll give you the call with the information soon enough. Take care. You filming already? Uh, you asked me to. Oh, uh, yes. Dominus is cute. See, when you're in the line of work I do, serial killer impersonating, you have to create a sense of feeling trapped with your subject. You see, my chair is higher than hers to shift the power dynamic. What <laughs> enough of that. Let's get the damn lights off and let's, let's, let's get the girl in here, huh? Hello there, Missy. I, uh, what's your name? Maria. I'm Charlie. Charlie Manson. As hey. an actor, you gotta decide how your character would interact with another. See, Charlie, he was a bit unconventional. Uh, are you but... filming another ad? No. Uh, let's sit down. Let's sit. You look different from the advertisement. Well, it's been a hell of a year, and, uh, that old piece of junk never worked anyhow. Never got finished the way it was supposed to. But, um, <laughs> enough about me. Uh, how was your year? How, uh, what, what, what brings you here? My sister died. That's rough. Um, I know a little thing about, uh, grief. Uh, can the cameraman leave? Uh, what? You know what? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, if it makes you feel better. Yeah. So, uh, tell me about your sister. Uh, what was she like? Is this all you do? Just talk to people like you're their therapist? I just take girls on dates. This is silly. Nothing you ever do in life is silly. I've been meaning to ask you something. Uh, what would that be? That girl from the Bundy ad, did you kill her after the date? Uh, no, 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 you got me confused. I, uh, I am not a killer. I did not kill. I'm a leader of people. And, uh, you know, this, this scenario we got going on, it's, it's supposed to be beneficial for both of us. So you don't know what happened to Izzy Jane? I, I don't think you see what I'm trying to do here. So you didn't kill her! I haven't done anything wrong in my life. That's her bracelet on the wall. 